Welcome back, Faith Warriors. Faith Warrior Project checking in with you. Today, I would like to share with you a dream that the Lord God showed me a couple of nights ago. In my dream, I was walking to and fro through the earth. I was walking on mountaintops. I was walking through valleys. I was walking through cities. I was walking through buildings. I was walking through snowy terrain, hilly terrain. It didn't matter. I was walking to and fro. And everywhere I walked, there was a lot of people around as well. A lot of people was just walking around as well. But all of a sudden, everywhere I walked, it was a lion. And a lion was attacking people. It was coming out and attacking people, jumping on people, trying to go after their neck. to try to snap their neck immediately. Trying. Some people was trying to fight. Some people, he just got the best of them. Now, at the same time in the dream, God showed me the scripture in 1 Peter, the fifth chapter and the eighth verse, where it says to be sober and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walketh the boat to and fro as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And, at the, and then after that scripture, I seen another scripture in a dream. It was, it was the book of James, the fourth chapter in the seventh verse, where it says, submit yourself, therefore, to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. I seen all I seen those those two scriptures in the dream. And in the dream, as I mentioned, it was people getting attacked by the lion. And I was trying my best to help some of those folks. I ran over there because I seen some people fighting and I ran over there, was trying to help that help get that lion off them. And some people I was trying to help get off to get the lion off of and the lion got off of them. But when the people got up, they had a lot of wounds on them, but they wounds started to heal. Their wounds are starting to heal. And God told me that the people whose wounds started to heal, it was because they believed in him and they trust in him. And he was able to cleanse them and forgive them and heal them of their sins. God was saying in that dream that we have to be sober. Like he said, sober means to be focused. We have a focused mind. Then it also says, he said to be vigilant, meaning to be alert, to be a, be careful, to be aware of your of your spiritual surroundings be aware of your overall surroundings don't lose focus don't get distracted that is what god was saying that lion was ferocious in the dream he was ferocious now satan is not the lion because jesus christ is the lion but in this passage in the book of first peter it says satan is as a roaring lion now if you ever seen the discovery channel or you ever seen the animal planet, um, most sometime back in the day, they used to have like a lot of documentaries on lions. And it shows you how a lion attack its prey. When the lions attack their prey, they try to be sneaky. And they try to creep up on you, right? And then when they pounce on you, they go for the neck to try to snap your neck to try to end it really, really fast. They try to end life really, really fast. You notice they creep up on you. And they try to be sneaky. That's how Satan is. Satan was creeping up on folks and was jumping on folks in the dream and was devouring them. And some people was trying to fight him off and I was trying to help them. It is time, people. Satan is trying to destroy. He is really, really trying to destroy he is really, really trying to, 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 to just take as many people out as he possibly can. We cannot allow the devil to deceive us, faith words. We cannot allow the Satan to just manipulate us and to destroy our faith in God, because that is exactly what he is trying to say. That's why that scripture that I see in the dream in the book of James, the fourth chapter, seventh verse, that's why it says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. The word submit means to surrender. You yielding your whole being to God. And by doing so, you are able to resist the devil in Jesus name and he will flee from you. We have to maintain our faith. We have to be strong because Satan is walking to and fro daily. Daily. He is trying to destroy he is trying to manipulate. He is trying to deceive. He is as a roaring lion. He's walking to and fro in this earth right now. Trying to deceive. Trying to devour. That's his number one objective is to devour. You think Satan wants you to serve God? 
You think the devil wants you to repent of your sins and to follow Jesus? No way. Satan don't want you to find God. Satan wants you to, to, to forever be in that sinful state. Satan wants you to die in your sins because he knows if you die in your sins, you are internally separated with God. If you die in your sins, you will be eternally separated from God and you will spend eternity in hell. That's the truth. Those are factual. That is scripture. We have to repent and turn from our sins and believe on Jesus Christ. We have to. No sin in this world is worth going to hell over. No sin in this world is worth going to hell over. It's not. Please don't let Satan get the best of you. Put on the armor of God so that you'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The Bible said the wiles of the devil. The wiles mean his wicked schemes and his methods to try to entrap you. Satan wants to entrap you. God was telling me in that dream that Satan is walking to and fro. And those that believe in him will be healed from their sins. They will be forgiven of their sins. He was basically telling me that Satan is everywhere. That's why he had me walking in those different areas. He was letting me know that Satan is everywhere. And the only way to have victory is through God. I'm sharing this video with you today. Maybe you somebody that need God. Maybe Satan is trying to devour your life. Maybe it's trying to destroy your life. Maybe you think you don't got no hope, but today you got hope. You got hope today. Don't let Satan destroy you. Resist the devil and he will flee for you. Don't give him no room to work in your life. Don't give no place to the devil. Don't give him no inches or anything. You must stand your ground in Jesus. You must stand your ground. Don't forsake the faith. I don't care how hard it get. Don't forsake the faith. We are all go. We all go through similar things in this world. We all go through persecutions. We all go through trials and tribulations. But that's when we need to rely more upon God. Don't let our situation be bigger than our God. Let's trust in God for salvation. Let's trust in God for deliverance. Let's trust in God for victory because we are strong and mighty through Jesus who strengthened us. We don't got to be afraid of Satan. We don't have to be afraid. We can stand in Jesus' name and stand on God's side and God will fight our battles for us. When an evil thought come to your mind, when Satan is tempting your mind, he's trying to get in. He's trying to take over you. He's trying to conquer your mind. That's where he comes first. He comes to your mind. He's trying to come to your thoughts to try to, dethr to try to dethrone your mind, try to dethrone your um, God, he tried to take, basically what I'm saying is this, Satan wants to try to take over your thoughts, the thoughts that you have for God, he trying to take over your thoughts so you can have your mind full of sin, full of, um, wicked desires. But we have to continue to let God sits on the throne of our heart. We cannot let Satan rule us. Don't let Satan rule you. Don't let Satan get the best of you. Let God be in the forefront of your mind. Let God be in the forefront of your, your heart and your soul. Commit yourself unto God. Commit your ways unto God, not this world. Don't be devoured by the lion because every day he's going to come after you. And we have to be strong every single day. There is a way out. There is a lion tamer. And his name is Jesus. With Jesus in your life, Satan is tamed. I'm going to say it again. With Jesus in your life, Satan is tamed. He has no power over you. When you have Jesus in your life. Satan has no power over you when you have Jesus in your life. Think about that. Jesus already defeated Satan upon the cross. Satan's destruction is already predicted. He is going to be cast to the lake of fire. That's what the Bible says. 
So why waste your time listening to somebody that's already defeated? Satan is defeated. So why listen to him? Why allow him to get the best of you? Why? If you are having issues, go to Jesus. Don't keep going back to your same sins because it's going to take you deeper and deeper into those sins and farther and farther away from God. Please, please, I urge you and I beg you with all of my heart and soul and mind, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the one who was and is and is to come, the bright and morning star, the lily of the valley. Come to him. The son of David, come to him. <laughs> come to Jesus right you can right now. Please, the invitation is open unto you. It's not my will that anyone should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. God wants you to come to repentance. He wants you to come to him with faith and believe on him and trust in him. Don't let Satan devour you. Because he will devour you if you continue to take this life lightly. We have to take our life serious. We have to be serious for Jesus. We have to be. I love y'all with all of my heart. I just wanted to share with y'all that dream that God showed me a couple of nights ago. It lined up exactly with scripture, man. Exactly how the Bible says Satan is. That's how I seen him in a dream. He don't care about y'all. Satan don't care. Satan did not care about y'all. But God does. God cares about you. He cares. He said, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. He care about you. And he wants you to become a son or daughter of his. Come to God while you can, while you alive. Why are you in your right mind? Please. Until next time, faith warriors, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.